hello there in today's episode we are going to be talking about how to add fog in mobile and uh, what are the ways to add different methods of fog in your scene so the first and easiest method to add fog is just to come in here and type in fog you have the exponential height fog so this works uh, if you have the if you go to the project settings and if you have the go to rendering type in fog um, if you have vertex fogging for opaque and police support sky atmosphere affecting height fog enabled um, if these aren't, aren't enabled then you'll not have any fog at all so these two must be enabled I mean it, it it's not like as expensive as it, as it was in Unreal Engine 4 so Unreal Engine 4 so you can easily have that um, you of course if you're using ES 3.2 which is this one which um, is the Android OpenGL Mobile, if you are using this, you won't have any volumetric fog. Um, you will have volumetric fog though, if you're using Vulkan Desktop. And that is explained in another video in this one, as you can see. So I've put the link in the description, so you can just go ahead and see how you can make it work and um probably use it in your next game but keep in mind that this one is really really expensive and it can um cost you a lot of users that can't really play the game if you're using vulcan desktop you can just come in here and use volumetric fog and have a a lot of fog in your scene have something like this it won't look as good as this one, but it will good something really, really good. There are two other methods as well. The first one is I have something called NS Fog in my scene that spawns some sprites particles. If you can see, they are rotating around the camera and they kind of simulate the volumetric fog in your scene. They look really, really cool. Uh, but the thing is that they aren't cheap so you will um, pay the price for it it's not as bad but it's 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 gonna pay uh, it's gonna cost something for you the explanation video for this though is again in another video I put the link in the description I've explained about everything in the fog and volumetric fog in mobile in the past so so it's just a Niagara system, the textures here, you can download the texture, you can have uh, access to everything you want and um, it's just easy to use. The next method that I don't have in this game is uh, a material that you can have on a sphere mesh, have something like this. It looks really good, the performance is like the best performance I've seen in a fog method so this one's really cool again the link is in the description you can just go ahead and um, find everything you need in this video as well and this is the whole video about the fog and atmospheric fog one thing to remember is that when you're using fog you always have to go ahead and make sure that the shader complexity is not as bad as it looks I mean doesn't look anything um share complexity must be something like uh at least better than this part around green um the worse the shader complexity the worse your frame rate in mobile the mobile devices are pretty sensitive to this one so if you're having problems with the um with the frame rate in your game chances are that you're having um, you're suffering from some problems in the shader complexity so keep that in mind please um, I hope this was helpful and if it was helpful please hit that like button and have a great day